But I thought of tongues. And I said, I haven't asked for tongues for a long time. And, and the Lord has always said to me without words, no. <laughs> no. But I don't assume that's his last word. And so every now and then, I'm just going to go back to him like a child and say, a lot of my brothers and sisters have this toy, <laughs> this gift. Can I have it too? I think it's important to, to critique those comments honestly. Now, I, and I did, as a matter of fact, uh, respond to that very comment yesterday in my breakout session. I had a couple of people come up to me afterwards and say, well, then, because I also said, look, I love John Piper. I've benefited from him. I've learned things from him. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not prepared to throw him out completely. And they said, no, you should. You just should. And um, my response to that is the times in which we are living are the theological parallel to the book of Judges, where every man does what's right in his own eyes. And, and there isn't a consistent voice. There's no king in Israel. There's no consistent voice in the church that, that you know, sort of polices all that stuff. Everybody's doing what's right in their own eyes. And it's not even considered politically correct to sit in a venue like this and say, this is wrong. That's, that's automatically deemed unkind, uncharitable, unloving. You can't disagree anymore. So everybody can say what they want. In a time when every man does what's right in his own eyes and nobody is willing to speak with a voice of clarity and say that's wrong, you're going to have men, lots of men, uh, in whom there's lots of good and, and some bad. And uh, the question I always ask people who say that, what would you say about Samson? Would you say, he's a good guy, you should follow him? And uh, most of us would say, I think, no, Samson made a wreck of his life, and yet he's in Hebrews 11. And I think the same thing about a lot of these men. This, despite what I w would criticize and disagree with them, they're men of faith, and I think that deserves to be recognized.